All right, so once again, hello everyone and welcome to today's online workshop. So today, uh, this session is the Training Teams Contributor Day online session. So at the moment, there is an event called WordCamp Asia happening in Taiwan, um, in Taipei, and they have a Contributor Day event happening in Taipei right now. And so this online session is the training team um, hosting an online session for people who couldn't go to Taipei. Um, it still gives them a chance to understand what's going on and hopefully contribute to WordPress a little as well. Um, so we'll start off by first of all explaining what WordPress is, um, what the different events are, what a contributor day is. And then um, after about 10, 15 minutes, we will go into um, spending some more time actually contributing to the training team in one way or another. Um, so Sonia, it seems you're, this is your very first time interacting with WordPress. Um, if there are any questions along the way, do let me know. Um, I will say we won't be talking specifically about how to use WordPress today. It's more about what the WordPress project is and how the WordPress community works and how we can get involved. Um, so, yep, thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, we have Koban, who's also here, and Muhibul is also a, a frequent contributor to the training team. Thank you for joining, Muhibul. And a few, in a few minutes, we should also have someone join us from Taipei. Um, they're going to connect their computer and turn their camera on and show us what contributor that actually looks like there. Um, so, while we're getting ready, first of all, uh, the WordPress. WordPress is a software um, created by volunteers all around the world. There are thousands of volunteers who dedicate their time every day uh, for no money, no, like... Beginner developer, by the way. Intermediate. They're just volunteers. Um, yeah. Sorry, yeah, let so me just... Expert. No, I'm not so if you go to... Sorry, I just, I just muted you, Chetan, just for a moment. <laughs> um, so WordPress is a, a software created by volunteers. Um, and the WordPress, so you can download WordPress from wordpress.org. Um, and you'll see there's a big banner at the top about WordCamp Asia. We'll talk about that in a moment. WordCamp.org, uh, sorry, wordpress.org is the site you download WordPress from. And at the top here, we have a button to community. And if you click on make WordPress, this talks about the community that makes WordPress. So make.wordpress.org talks about the community, the volunteers that make WordPress software. And you'll see here, if we scroll down, these are all the different teams that create WordPress. So we have a core team that work on updating the core software. And if you run a WordPress site, you'll see um, every every month or so, you might get a, a small patch update. And then every three months or so, there's a major release. Um, that is all managed by the core team. Then you have like a design team that works on the design of the WordPress software. We have a mobile team um, that makes sure WordPress is um, responsive and works on desktop computers and mobile um, devices, et cetera. And we have a whole bunch more. We have like accessibility. We have polyglots who look after translations. We have a support team that answer questions in the forums. Um, all up, there are 22 teams that work together to make WordPress and they're all run by volunteers. Um, and one of those teams is the training team. So that's what, that's the team I am a representative for. Um, and the training team is hosting this online workshop today. Um, we'll get into details of the training team in a bit more. Um, the other team I wanted to point out was the community team. So WordPress is made by volunteers all around the world and the community team helps the different communities get together and host local events so that people can actually meet in person, share information um, and help each other out as we all work with WordPress. So the, um, there are different size events run by the community team. The smallest are called meetups. So meetups is two or more people um, who get together and talk about WordPress. And this happens in different cities all over the world. So 
Um, it could be two people meeting in a bar after work talking about WordPress. That is a meetup. Um, or it could be more a scheduled event where like 20 people get together on the weekend, they rent out an office space and they all like work on their websites together. That is also a meetup. Um, so you, um, for those who are new to WordPress, um, you will want to find your local meetup and connect with them and understand when they are having events um, and you'll be able to connect with them and get your answers, questions answered in that there. All right, so the smallest groups are meetups and then the biggest events are called word camps. Now, word camps are regional events. So meetups are local in your own local city. Word camps could be a whole state getting together, a whole country getting together. Or in the case of WordCamp Asia, it's where WordPressers from all around Asia get together in one place, uh, usually for three or four days. And we just talk about WordPress all day, every day. <laughs> um, and so right now we have WordCamp Asia happening in Taipei, Taiwan. Um, let me drop the link to this in the Zoom chat. And so this year, WordCamp Asia is a three-day event, March 7, 8, 9. And the seventh is called a Contributor Day. So this is where everybody gets together. Usually we volunteer our time and contribute to WordPress in our own homes, um, in our own places. But Contributor Day is where we all get together in the same room um, and sit at the same table and all contribute to WordPress all in one go at the same time. And this helps us because uh, we can ask each other questions and answer each other's questions. And you can also meet other contributors in real life, get to know them. Um, and it's just a, a fun day where you can contribute to WordPress, meet new people and get involved. So um, I might sort of pass it off to Chetan. So Chetan is in Taipei at the moment. He's sitting at the contributor day table. Um, how many people are at the, at the table, Chetan? What does it look like over there? Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. Excited to meet you virtually. Mm -hmm. So we have around uh, uh, 10 people who are just converted. And they are mostly the new to your training team. So we have helped how to get onboarding. They signed up and now they are starting of the contributing. Let me show. Well, we have, All right. you can say. Hello. Just a minute. Yeah. No, you can now see. Ah, you can hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Nice hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is this your first yeah. time at the uh, Contributor uh, Day? Uh, ah, sorry? Is this your first time uh, at a Contributor Day? This yeah, this is my first time. Actually, I read the uh, contribute guy before, but I haven't had some. So I haven't had some yet. So it's been cool. I just and uh, review a video. I I, I haven't uh, sent a comment, but just mm -hmm. see the video. Maybe uh, do some contribution today. Yeah, yeah. starting to to <laughs> yeah. <Thanks> to see you. <laughs> So, yeah, good to see you too. Hello, uh, some more members. Hi. Hello. Hi, good but, to see you. Who is oh, that? Uh, actually, we have only already. Oh, okay. okay. The people who are not attending the they can okay. still join the contributor day. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, you can see the whole hall here. So, people are contributing. So, the hall is almost yeah. full. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. We have two tables this time. So this is first. Yeah. And another 
this this side. So, okay, okay. Yeah. Hello. Uh, can we talk? Yeah, say hello to hi, Jamie. Hi. Is that working? Hi, Jamie. Yeah. yeah, it's working. Just slowly. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Hmm. What? Wi-Fi. So for people watching online, Jamie is one of our table leads um, in Taipei today. We have two table leads leading the team. We have Jamie, and then we also have Wes. Um, but because there are like dozens of people in the same room using the same Wi-Fi, it looks <laughs> like their Wi-Fi might be a bit, a bit spotty. Let's see if they come back. Are there any questions people want to ask folks at Taipei? So there are some internet issues. Can you see again? Yes, we can see you. Most of people are from Taipei and they're local. They're local, okay. <laughs> Is Wes there? Can we quickly say hello to Wes? Sorry? Yeah. Wes is our other table lead, so we'll see if we can get him on the call as well. But I'll chat to you now. Hi, Wes. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. We have six people on the call with us. Wonderful. Welcome, Thank everyone. You. I hope you will be able to contribute to the Contributor Day today. And um, Thank you, Ben, for, for hosting. Yeah. It seems like you have a lot yeah, of local people who have joined the table. Yeah, and you've got, we've got some new people, so I'm um, setting them up on Slack and, and all those things to get them started out. So yeah, a lot of newbies, which is good. Yeah, maybe we can get some Chinese translations done today. So yes, there is there is possibly one or two people doing that today. Possibly. Okay, yep. Okay, Ooh. cheers. All right, thank you. Bye, bye, Laura. Bye, bye Mubal, everyone. <laughs> All right, so we'll switch to our online contributor session very soon. Are there any final questions people want to ask Chetan before he leaves the call? All good. Laura, you're all good? Yeah. By the way, Chetan was a training team rep about three years ago, four years ago. So four and five years now. Four or five years now, okay. So yeah, Chetan no, no, has two been- No, two and a half years. Two and a half years ago, okay. Yeah, so Chetan has been a long time contributor to the training team as well. All right. Well, thank you, Chetan. Um, I know- you might want to go and talk to the other people over there and we'll continue our online session now. Thank you. Okay. So coming back to us, that was Contributor Day at WordCamp Asia. Um, and so they are going to spend six or seven hours now. They'll probably have a lunch break soon. And everybody's just working on making WordPress better. So let's talk about the training team. So you've all come to the training teams, contributor day session. What is the training team about and how can you contribute as well? So I've come back to make.wordpress.org, um, the website that talks about the teams that make WordPress. You scroll down a bit, you'll find the training team and um, by clicking on the training team, that will take you to the training team's handbook. 
uh, sorry, the training team's blog. Training team's blog. So I'll drop that link in the Zoom chat here. Um, and at the top of the blog, it says, welcome. The WordPress training team helps people learn to use, extend, and contribute to WordPress through learn.wordpress.org. Um, are you new to the team? Um, then come to the Getting Started, our onboarding program. This is a self-guide onboarding program. Um, and if you're already onboarded and ready to get involved, then you can jump directly to our GitHub project board and start on um, things to contribute to. Today, um, because it's contributor day, we have a special post on the training team blog, um, which I am just going to get the link for. Da, 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 there we go. So for people in this call who are familiar with uh, the training team and contributing, um, you can click on the link I've just sent in the Zoom chat and that will give you a list of things we are working on today. So you can just jump right into that. And I'm going to continue to explain what the training team is um, to our new contributors. Um, so you can either listen to me explain or you can start contributing to different things. Um, let's see, we have Manu here. Manu, are you new to the training team or do you have experience with the training team? Um, I have not started contributing yet. Uh, I mm -hmm. attended your meeting uh, one week back, or no, two weeks back, I guess. Okay. Cool. So you're sort of new. Um, yeah, sort of new. Very true. Yep. Great. Um, so the training team, we look after the website learn.wordpress.org. So we call this website Learn WordPress. Um, so learn.wordpress.org, this is the official education website uh, for the WordPress project. And our goal is that whoever you are in whatever stage of learning you are in, um, if you have a question about WordPress, you will come to learn WordPress and you'll be able to find your answers here. So that is what we're working towards. Um, the Learn WordPress website was only launched um, in 2020 during the COVID pandemic. So it's only two or three years old. Um, so we still have, um, I don't know, it's still sort of in the growing stage. We are actually doing a site redesign right now, and we're going to relaunch the Learn WordPress website in July this year. Um, so what you see now um, is all going to change in July this year. Um, but the overview is going to stay the same. Learn WordPress is going to be a place where people come to learn about WordPress. Um, so at the moment, we have um, four different types of content on the website. We have tutorials, we have online workshops, we have courses, and we have lesson plans. So online workshops are sessions like this that you've attended right now. Um, so every week we have a few sessions. Sometimes we talk about how to use WordPress, how to get started with the block editor, how to edit your pages and posts. Um, so we talk about like being a user of WordPress. Sometimes we talk about um, developer related content. So for example, how can you program your plugin for WordPress? How can you program, how can you build a theme for WordPress? Or how can you customize your WordPress site code base? Um, and then we also have topics about like uh, contributing to WordPress. And that's what we're doing today, um, how you can contribute to the training team. So we have lots of topics uh, um, in our online workshops. And um, so if you click on that, you'll see we have a calendar. Oh, March is looking a bit, a bit empty at the moment, um, but we are always looking for more speakers, facilitators, and co-hosts uh, for our online workshops. So if you're interested in talking about WordPress, um, then that is something you can definitely contribute to. Um, and then looking at our other content types, we have tutorials. These are about five minute videos um, about specific topics. So for example, let's see, testing your products for PHP version compatibility. That's a very developer focused tutorial. Um, that one's a bit longer, it's 12 minutes. Um, but then we have like a tutorial exploring WordPress 6.4. So at the end of last year, the WordPress 6.4 version was released. Um, so we have a tutorial that sort of walks you through all that. And then we have some more practical ones, like how to create a menu with the navigation block. 
um, or introducing the 2024 theme. So if you're getting started with WordPress, these tutorials will help you uh, with your first steps to understand what you might need to do. Um, you can also search for them. I think we have something like 270 tutorial videos at the moment. So we have quite a lot. Um, so definitely check those out. And then over here we have online courses. So courses um, are self-guided learning. So you read some things, sometimes you watch a video, um, there might be a quiz at the end of a lesson. And then once you've completed a few lessons, you get a, a certificate email to you that says you've completed the course. Um, we have, I think somewhere around 20 or 30 courses right now. Again, we have topics about developing with WordPress, introduction to WordPress, using the site editor and contributing to WordPress. Uh, so that's the introduction to WordPress. If you come down here, it talks about getting started with WordPress, um, get set up or getting started with WordPress, get familiar, creating a four page business website. Um, so Sonia, you mentioned before you're brand new to WordPress. Um, these courses might be a good place for you to start to just get sort of a feel and an understanding of how WordPress works. Um, courses online. Let me drop this the link to these courses here in the Zoom chat as well. All right, and then the final content type is lesson plan. So lesson plans are aimed at, thank you, Sonia. Lesson plans are aimed at teachers of WordPress. So if a teacher wants to go to a meetup event and teach about WordPress, or maybe you're a teacher at a school and you want to teach about WordPress, then these lesson plans are guides for the teacher and they sort of give out a step-by-step -step instruction on how they can run a class and teach about different topics. Um, so I think we have, I think it's around 120 or so um, lesson plans. We have different languages. So if we just go to English, let's see. So you have lesson plans about locking blocks in the full site editor. Create a basic child theme for block themes. Um, WebP images and WordPress. So all these different topics that talk about WordPress. Um, but lesson plans are aimed at teachers and courses and tutorials are aimed at learners. Um, so the training team, we look after this website and we look after the content on the website. So the training team, um, coming, I've come back to the training team blog now, make the wordpress.org slash training. At the top of our blog, um, you'll see there's a welcome box here. Um, this takes up a bit of space, so I'll close that up. Um, but above that, in the blue bar, we have three important links. So the first one is getting started. If you click on this, this will take you to the training team's onboarding program. So this is a self-guided onboarding program. It will take somewhere between 30 and 60 minutes uh, for you to start contributing to the training team. Um, and we'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. So if you want to learn about WordPress, you go to learn.wordpress.org. And if you want to contribute to the Learn WordPress website, then you can join the training team and our getting started onboarding program is the best place to start. Um, the second link here is to the team handbook. So I mentioned before, the WordPress project is made up of 22 teams. Every team has their own handbook and the handbook lists the different processes um, for that team. So the training team's handbook talks about how to, for example, make an online course or how to make a tutorial, um, how to contribute to the training team. So if you open the handbook, you'll see we have a table of contents down the left here. We have about, which talks about the training team. We have getting started, which takes you to our onboarding program. And then we have how to guides. And you don't need to read through all of this. Um, if you open the how to guides, you'll see there's a ton of how to guides here. Um, basically these guides are here for once you've joined the team and you wanna start contributing and you want to do a specific task, um, go to the handbook, and if you search for the ha inside the handbook, you'll find the resources to get you started there. Um, so coming back to our blog, you'll see we talked about getting started, we talked about the handbook, and finally, faculty members. So 
the training team um, is made up of volunteers um, and we have two or three dozen volunteers who are actively contributing to content and reviews, translations every week. Um, but the faculty program is a group of volunteers out of that who have dedicated a specific amount of time to the training team to help the training team achieve their goals. So anybody can contribute to the training team. You can just come and contribute two hours and go on and continue your journey. And that's totally fine. Um, but the faculty program of people who have, has, have said they will stick with the training team for a while and um, help the training team get to achieve their goals. So it's a bit more dedication from volunteers. Um, but it also means these faculty members are familiar with the training team and their processes. And the faculty members know the Learn WordPress website a bit better as well. So as a new contributor, if you have questions, then you can reach out to the faculty members and they will be um, the best people to answer these questions for you. Um, so there's a list of um, different names and different languages they speak, what um, some areas they're really good at. Um, those are the faculty members. All right, so getting started on boarding to the training team and then the handbook and then faculty members. Let me pause for a moment. Are there any questions so far? Anything, maybe I was a bit too fast and you want me to explain again? Um, is there anything I can clarify for people? Sonia, you said all good, thank you very much. All right, so um, for the rest of this time, let's let's continue through the getting started onboarding program. So Sonia Manu, you said you were new. Um, so let me just give you an overview of what the onboarding would look like um, if you decide to start contributing to the team. So I'm here at our getting started page. And um, it says, welcome to the training team. If you scroll down a bit more, you'll see a familiar face. That's me um, with the three minute video. So I'm just welcoming, welcoming you to the team. Um, and then we talk about where we communicate. So the training team, um, we're a bunch of volunteers all around the world working in different time zones. Um, there are three places we communicate. So the first place is on our team blog. And um, we, I, I um, showed this to you before as well. So this is the training team blog here. And you'll see that's a post published recently, training team meeting recap. Um, if you scroll down a bit more, you'll see we have a contributor spotlight post that was published. Um, so you'll see the training team publishes a few posts every week. And then people can comment on the post and interact there as well. If you're interested in uh, following the training team's blog, then at the very top, there's an email address form here so you can subscribe um, to the post. We have 483 subscribers at the moment. And you can subscribe to that and get notified of new posts when they're published on the training team blog. We use the team blog um, as a place for discussions and decisions. So the training team blog is public. It is indexed on search engines. So if you're searching Google, um, the training team blog will come up. <clears throat> um, so this is where the training team discusses in public and makes decisions in public. And the whole WordPress project, we try to make decisions in the public as much as possible um, because it is a community um, building WordPress together. So the training team blog is the, I guess the most public, the most important place where we have discussion. Then the second tool we use is called Slack. So Slack is um, a, like a chat tool um, and when, when you join um, the WordPress program, you are given access to the WordPress project's um, Slack channels. So the WordPress project has hundreds of Slack channels for different discussions. 
Um, but in that, we have a channel specifically for the trainee team. It's called trainee. Um, and this is where we have real-time interactions with each other. So for example, if you're new to the training team and you're going through the onboarding program and you might have a question, um, then you can ping in Slack and ask people for help. And whoever's logged in at that time um, will be able to answer your questions and help you with that. Um, we have team meetings in Slack every week, um, but discuss the decisions aren't made in Slack. They're always made on the public blog because Slack, you need an account to view. Um, so rather than making decisions there, um, we take those meeting discussions, create a public post about it, and then we can discuss and make decisions out in the open. So Slack is really a place for real-time communication um, to help, to give each other help with something. And then finally, we use a tool called GitHub. Um, and GitHub, traditionally has been used um, by developers for organizing code, um, but the training team doesn't use it for that. The training team uses it as a project management system. So um, we have hundreds of content on the Learn WordPress website. We have dozens of content being made um, at the same time. And we need a way to manage all that and just keep track of where things are at. And so we use GitHub for this. Um, so if you open the training, the training team's GitHub repository, it looks like this. There's a ton of text there, um, which we can ignore. The most important thing to look at is the projects tab at the top here. So the training team has seven projects. The first one is called Learn WordPress Content Development. So this is where content creators who make content track their progress in this, in this um, GitHub project. And then we have learn WordPress content localization. So the translators in the team track their progress here. And then we have learn WordPress website development. So the web developers of the team look after the website code here. Um, and then we have learning pathways project, which is the relaunch site relaunch project of the training team this year. We have a project board specifically for training team administration. And we have a few others as well. So these are the different project boards the training team works with. So coming back to the onboarding program, where do we communicate? We communicate on the team blog, we communicate in Slack, and we communicate in GitHub. So if you're interested in getting involved, then we invite you to create these three accounts. So first of all, create a WordPress.org account. And this allows you to then comment on the different training team blog posts and discussions. Um, the step after that is creating a WordPress Slack account. So then you can log in to the Slack community and ask questions in real time and get help from people who are online at that moment. And finally, create a GitHub account um, so you can participate in the different project boards um, in the training team. Um, and one more thing, um, I want to talk about, and then we'll um, actually like work on things together. That is the training team has uh, many different ways you can contribute. Um, and we've broken these down into five areas of contribution. So for example, if you're interested in creating new content, then we have an onboarding program for content creators. So content creators make content. Um, if you're interested in translating content, then we have an onboarding program for our content translators. So they take the content that's been created and translate that into different languages. Um, every piece of content before it is published um, gets reviewed. Um, and we kind uh, of gets reviewed by at least three people um, before it is, it is published. And this helps us make sure the content is accurate and um, up to date. Uh, for people who are going to view it. And these reviews are done by editors in the team. So you might not be a content creator, you might not be a content translator, but you can become an editor and review content for the team. We also have a role or area of contribution um, called subject matter experts. So content creators 
they don't have to be an expert about the content they're creating. They just have to be good at creating material. The subject matter experts are the people who are experts. And so they will bring the information to the content creator. And then the content creator will turn that into a tutorial or an online course or an online workshop. Um, so these subject matter experts work with content creators to get content published. And then finally, we have administrators. Um, so the team rep role is a like administrative role to make sure the team works smoothly. Uh, but there are lots of other administrative tasks that different volunteers can work on. Um, so we also have an onboarding program for administrators specifically. Um, so what we would do now is I would, um, we would, oh, first of all, I'll open it up for questions, see if there's anything people want clarified. And then um, if we're interested in getting involved, we can start by, first of all, making the three accounts, the WordPress.org account, the Slack account, and the GitHub account. And then once we have these accounts created, you can then move on to the different onboarding programs, uh, whichever one you'll find most interesting. And we'll use the rest of today working on that onboarding program. So that's what I had planned. <laughs> How is this all so far to everyone? Are there any questions? Um, is there anything you wanted to sort of ask, get me clarified or any things you wanted to point out? Let me open it up to the floor. All right, Sonia, you said amazing, thanks. Let me stop the recording. Um, so this is like the official online workshop up to here. And then um, we can sort of chat with each person to figure out what we might um, do for the rest of the time. So let me stop the recording.